Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while and I say that every time that I take long to film a video but I had to film today's video because I finally got my hands on some of the new Essence products that came out where they've included the darker shades. So these are the products that I'm going to be showing you today and I'm just super excited about this video because I love Essence. I've been happy with almost every product I've tried from them because they are so affordable and it's great quality for the money that you're paying. So if you tried these products before, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the review when it's done and also whether you've tried it or if you plan on getting it for yourself. Um, let me know what you think. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first one I got me is the Insta Perfect um, Liquid Makeup, and this says that it has a strong matte effect, waterproof, and buildable coverage. And I got me shade 60, so this is how it looks. And then the second one is also a foundation. I got myself the Soft Touch Mousse Makeup, and this is also supposed to be matte. And I got myself 03 Matte Honey. And then the last thing I got, I didn't get too many things, but the last thing I got was the darkening makeup drops. And this is the mix to match um, your perfect shade. So basically the reason why I got this is because in the Insta Perfect Foundation, I tested out um, shade 60 in store and I tested out the next shade. This one is a bit too light for me and the next one is a bit too dark. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take the one that's a bit too light and throw some darkening drops in so I can actually test it out and see if it does work. So yeah, I'm going to mix some of this with this and we are going to see how it goes. One thing I like is that it's a squeezy bottle. So I can just squeeze out the amount that I want and voila. <laughs> And then let's put some of these darkening drops in. I'm not quite sure how much darkening drops I should put in here. So let's see what we get. Okay, so that's feeding a bit more like my skin color so I'm just gonna squeeze a bit more out oh one thing I noticed about this foundation is that it smells really good I'm not sure I'm sure some people would actually not like the smell of it but I actually do <laughs> so it's kind of cool because when I was trying on the shades in store the smell was staying on my face <laughs> And it's kind of cool because it's like having a fragrance on your face, so I liked it. I'm testing the foundation on without any concealer so I can test the coverage and um, see if it's really buildable and all of those things. Okay, so I must say these darkening drops are actually working because when I tested it the first time in store it was way, like my face looked really ghost like <laughs> so I think it's working Okay, so one thing I will say about this combination is that it looks perfect when it comes to my cheek areas, but when it comes to my chin and my forehead, it has kind of an ashy effect. So 
so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong but when I was in store they had the same effect on my chin um, so yeah I'm gonna leave it as is because I like how it is on my cheeks but it's not having the same effect on my chin and my forehead so I'm just gonna ignore that for now and I'm going to go in with the soft touch mousse now I'm sure this is gonna be my favorite I might get this in the lighter shade and then combine the two because when I tested this out guys the formula of this it's so soft and creamy and it feels amazing on your skin like it feels like there's nothing on your skin but just applying it it feels like you're moisturizing your skin at the same time if that makes sense I don't know but that's how I feel uh, so it might actually be my favorite um, and it doesn't look as ashy hmm. So I'm thinking I might get me this in the lighter one as well and then just play around with the two to get my perfect shade. So I'm going to use a flat brush and just go into the container with it. Start from my forehead where it's so ashy. And then a little bit at the bottom. So because this is a bit darker than my skin tone, I'm not going to apply it everywhere. I'll apply it where it's so ashy on my chin, on my forehead and on my cheek area. Um, I'm applying it on my cheek area to get like a bronze effect and also kind of even out the foundation. Looking in the mirror right now, I think that the end product is very close to my skin tone. So I'm happy about the shade and like I said, this looks just like my skin tone. Okay, so about the actual foundations, this one. Um, maybe I should try this in a darker shade, I'm not sure, but it looked a bit ashy on my skin. The coverage, coverage, so good. Guys, I did not expect this foundation's coverage to be so good because it's a liquid foundation. But they do say it's buildable, I just didn't expect it. That's all. Um, so it's really good. Um, and I think because it's so ashy, the fact that I combined it with this one made the world of a difference. It actually looks much better now. Um, so after applying this on my head and my chin, and just a bit of bronzing. It looks really good um, and the darkening drops I've seen the reviews of it not working for people and the honest truth guys is that foundation and makeup products it doesn't work the same for everyone so just because you see one person maybe saying that it works great for them and another person saying it doesn't it doesn't mean either of them are lying it just means it didn't work the same for both people so for me the darkening drops worked since I took a lighter foundation it made it better and I can actually try it with my other foundations like my other girls a bit lighter you can try it with that as well so I'm super happy with my purchase and like I said probably gonna get this one in a lighter shade as well and maybe try the two of those on its own and I also want to get the concealer sticks and the mattifying powder I mean there's just so much to choose from I didn't I couldn't get all at the same time so yeah, I like this, I like the coverage, just a bit ashy, um, so I might try a darker one, but I'll probably stick to this one. So like I said, the coverage of the other one is great. The coverage of this one as well, it's matte, both of it's supposed to be matte, and then also this one is not as matte as I thought it would be. Um, my skin actually looks quite shiny, if you have dry skin, this actually won't be so much of a problem for you, because it's not so dry. Um, so that's what I would say is that it's not really, for me it's not actually a matte finish um, but that means that you guys with dry skin you can use it too 
I generally have a combination skin so in some areas it's dry, some areas it's oily so I always prefer matte foundation which is why this um, is leaving my skin a bit oily but it's nothing that powder can fix and then um, a bit about this foundation this is my favorite formula because like I said earlier on it's very creamy and it applies so soft and smooth on your skin I love that how it applies um, I love the packaging that it comes in a little container like this so I like this one and like I said earlier the dark thing drops I liked so um, yeah it's a very short review today it's just three products but I really wanted to test out the new essence range and let you guys know how I feel so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been a while since I've posted one but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and that if you were thinking of buying this that it kind of helps you to make a decision and I also want you guys to know that this is my honest opinion I'm a huge essence fan but I won't stop to tell you guys that the one foundation is a bit ashy and not as matte as it should be and I love the other one like I'll always give my honest review and my honest opinion so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back soon thank you for watching bye